Hello, my creative quilty friends out there. Welcome to my farmhouse sewing room. I'm Arne, and today I have a great project for you. So I was telling you all about in the last video, I have a stunner project for you and I've got the fabrics all lined up and I don't know whether I should show you the pattern first or the fabrics. Mm. So I think I'll show you the fabrics. So I'm gonna move you down here to my table and I'm going to show you all the fabulous colors that I got from Erin's shop at Sheets So Creative. And I'm gonna tell you ahead of time, if you want to do this project um, and you wanna do the colors that I have picked out, um, you can get a hold of Erin at Sheets So Creative and she will put you a kit together to do this uh, quilt with me or you know, you can follow along with a video. So just um, keep that in mind, but I'll mention that again. So I'm gonna move you down and show you these fabulous colors that I got for this, uh, for this project. So I've got a bundle of colors here. And I believe I have 17 colors on the top here. I'm gonna go through these with you. So I'm gonna unbundle them and I'm going to show you some fabulous marble. I love these marble fabrics because they're just, I don't know, they feel like texture, or they look like texture. And then I've got coordinating fabrics to kind of, to go with them because I just, I love color and I love brights and these are just gonna be amazing. These are some tulip pinks that um, I picked out. None of these are from a line. I went through the store and picked out everything that I wanted. So here's some more of that marble. And then I just kind of found colors to kind of coordinate it in the gray. And then there's a, a pink marble. And then I've got some of that to kind of, I don't know. I just love, I love these marbles. I just, I don't know, they just spoke to me. But um, there's some more tulas. Oh, I threw in some grunge with a red marble. So I've got those two colors that kind of just want to make it really colorful and a feel good and a happy. There's a green marble and then there's some kind of that. And then I've got this color and I've got um, a yard of this color because this is also going to be the binding. So all together I have 17 colors picked out for this quilt. And all of the rest of these are a 3 8 yard in all these colors, except for this one. This one is um, a one yarder, but you're going to use this for the binding as well. And then for the background, I picked out oops, like a thread. I picked out a black grunge, and I think these colors are really going to pop off the back. So let me get back up here, and um, so. This project is an easy project. It is great for a beginner. Um, this is very simple. So I'm gonna show you the, the pattern. And this is what we're gonna do. It's a heart pattern. Uh, I know it's, it's, you know, just hearts, but it's really pretty and it's gonna look fantastic in these colors and it's easy. This is a free pattern. Um, Aaron got this off the internet from P and P and B Boutique. So P and B, I'm not sure what the website is, but it's PMD. I'm sure if you look it up. But if you get a hold of Erin, she can um, get the, tell you where this, pa this pattern came from. But it's Everyday Magic Head Over Heels Designed by Stacey Day. So PMB um, Textiles. Yeah, there's not a website on here. So anyway, this is going to be fun. It's going to be a stunner. Stunner. So, um... I think what I need to get started on is um, getting these fabrics pressed and cut up the pieces and then I will show you how to make this quilt. And also I wanted to tell you what size it's going to finish at. 64 by 64. Um, if you wanted to make it bigger than that you could always add a beautiful generous border around this too just to keep in mind. Though. But as I said you can um, get a hold of Sheets So Creative. You can go on their website and you get a hold of Erin. She will put you together a kit if you would like these colors that I picked out. I picked out all these colors myself. I hand picked them. So um, this is how I wanted to do my quilt. And I think this is going to be a colorful and beautiful quilt. Kind of like, you know, romantic, romantic colors. I don't know. So I'm going to get this started and then I will uh, show you how to make it. So hang in there. I just wanted to go over real quick since I'm pressing and cutting and um, I wanted to um, show you how I cut. So I've got these um, 
my fabrics in 3 8 yards and the directions that tell you to cut your fabrics you need to cut a 10 and a half inch strip and you're going to sub cut it into 10 and a half by five and a half uh, rectangles and you need a uh, you need to sub cut four of those so in the cutting directions here it says so please read all instructions carefully before beginning strips are cut across the width of fabric perpendicular to the salvage and um, unless otherwise stated all seams are sewn a quarter inch seam unless otherwise uh, stated and label all your pieces so just something to keep in mind so I'm going to show you real quick because I've been cutting up all my fabrics and here is my salvage and I'm going to be put this on my cutter so you can kind of see that I have the the fabric here as it comes off the bolt the way it's cut but both of my salvages are on the end here so I'm going to um fold my fabric in half because I'm going to put this on my cutter and I'm going to show you how I cut this so I'm just going to kind of move you over here and move you down so you can kind of see what I'm doing here so I've got my fabric on here and of course I've got my salvage here and I'm going to trim it off and I try to get this straight so I'm going to put my fold at the top here so my salvage is just a little bit underneath and I'm just going to line up my fold line so I know that when I cut my cuts they're going to be straight and then I'm just going to cut off this little bit of excess because when I line this up my edges here are uneven so I'm just going to make sure that I get a nice straight cut and I'm just going to cut a little bit of this edge off and you will have leftover fabric so I've got this on my cutter and I've got it lined up here pretty well Just a tiny bit there. Okay, and then I'm going to cut off a nice clean cut. And then I'm going to cut it at ten and a half. So I cut it at a ten and a half inch piece. A little bit of excess, I will throw that away. This will be left over. Save this for your stash. And now I have this piece here, and you can see my salvage at the top. So now I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm going to open it up and my piece here now is ten and a half inches length and what I need to do now is cut two five and a half inch strips so they'll be five and a half by ten and a half and I am going to cut the salvage off so I'm just going to get that lined up and nice and even hopefully I everything. I like to use my weight to keep everything from sliding Cut off the salvage, cut it at five and a half, and five and a half and five and a half make eleven. And I've got two cuts. So now I put my salvage aside, and now I have these pieces here that are ten and a half tall by five and a half. These are what's going to make my hearts. And then I have a uh, leftover um, of this too, which is a nice size piece. It might make an extra border. You know, to put around it if you want to make your quilt bigger, or you can make a nice little throw pillow to go with it, or whatever. So I just wanted to kind of point that out so that when you cut your fabric, that you're going to cut it right and perpendicular to the salvage. And I'll be in the salvage will be this way with both salvages, you know, up or or down. And then you would cut it to the ten and a half, and then I turned it, and then I cut it at five and a half twice, and I get and this has been folded, so I have two pieces here and two pieces here just to kind of point that out in case any of you get confused okay all right y'all I've got all my colors cut up and I want to show you mom the pieces but before I do that I want to tell you that there are 36 hearts in this um this pattern and I had 17 colors so um and you get two hearts out of each of them in the directions it wants you to take two of the colors and make three hearts out of them but I decided to do something a little bit different, as I usually do. I can't do anything by the directions. So, out of all the colors that I did, I took um, four different colors out of my stash. And I'm going to make two split hearts. So, actually, there's going to be two hearts in my quilt that's going to have two different colors. So, let me move you down before I get cutting to the next step, which is the background fabric. So, I'm going to show you what I already got done. And they look amazing. Just get over here a little bit to kind of show you all of my colors that I have here. So I have them all cut up in these wonderful 
10 and a half by five and a half. There is enough here in these 17 colors here that I have all here and fanned out that will make uh, two hearts a piece. Two blue, two of this lime colored green, and so on. So these will all make two. But you're going to need three of one color. And the direction says, you know, that um, the certain letters or whatever follow the directions. But I'm not following directions. So my neck, the two hearts that I need, I decided to take two fabrics out of all of these that I did. And I decided to take two patterns that were the same, like the tulip pink. And I chose the lilac color and the gray color. And I thought, I'm going to make a half and half heart on that. And then the other color, I took two marbles that I like together. And I'm going to make a half and half heart with that. So those will be my my two extra hearts um, instead of making, you know, two extras in the same color as all of these. But that's totally up to you. I just like to think outside of the box. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to have two oddballs in there because I think it will make my quilt look interesting. So now I have this background fabric and um, this back fabric, background fabric, I want to tell you how to cut it up. Um, it says in the directions. And so before we get sewing to making the hearts, I'm going to have to cut up some background fabric because this is what's really going to make these hearts pop. So um, I have three yards of this background fabric and starting, it's going to tell me to cut 11 five and a half inch strips. And then out of those 11 five and a half inch strips, I'm going to cut 72 five and a half inch squares, five and a half all the way around. So we need 72 five, five and a half inch squares. <laughs> and that's going to be for the bottoms of the hearts to make the point. And then you're going to cut nine two and a half inch strips. And then you're going to subcut those into 144 two and a half inch squares. Those are going to be the tops of your hearts. Really simple. And then out of the rest of the um, background, it's going to tell me to cut seven two and a half inch strips. And then I'm going to sew them together end to end and cut two two and a half by 60 and a half inch strips and two two and a half by 64 and a half inch strips. Because once our, our hearts are all put together and we sew them together in rows, you'll put a border all the way around and then you can bind it. Or if you want to get really creative, which I might do, I haven't made up my mind yet because this is going to be kind of a thing. <laughs> I'm not going to get this done all in one day, but um, I have plenty of leftover fabrics here. And as you can see, I've got a nice little array of leftovers from my cutoffs and I could put a really nice um, cool border on this, like in pinwheels or a piano key. I mean, this would look amazing in a piano key border. I really like piano key. And then, of course, I have plenty of the blue left for my binding as well. But if I make this bigger, I might have to get creative with this for, for binding. Who knows? But like I said, you know, I mean, the pattern is great, but um, I'm not going by the pattern rules because I don't like to follow rules. <laughs> Makes any sense. So um, the the fabrics on here, you they give you a suggested um, fabrics. Where's my paper? These are P and P and B fabrics, yes. And you can find this um, pattern on PB Tex. It's PBTEX uh, dot com, and I'm pretty sure you'll find the free pattern for this on there. I didn't realize the website was in the small print. When who reads the small print? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but anyway, they give you an array in the the pattern too for the PB. Um, um, fabrics that you can get if you want to make it like the like the picture I say you know <laughs> color your own picture you know I like to make mine my way I mean it's beautiful I like the picture but I don't want to make mine like the picture I want to color my own page sort of speak you know so that's why I like to do everything in my own way because I like to pick my own colors for my quilt you know, I'm unique. I want my things to be unique. I don't want it to be like every, everything else or everybody else. I don't know. Some people are like that and there's nothing wrong with that. Believe me. I am just that kind of girl that likes to think outside of the box. So if you want to get started on this or you want to download, download or print the pattern, usually you can find this under free patterns. There are lots of sites out there with um, fabric lines like Moda and Riley Blake and uh, Tilda'sWorld.com, as y'all know, 
Um, there are so many um, websites that offer free patterns with their fabrics, so you can check that out. But this is under PBTEX, PBTEX.com, and just look for a little box that says free patterns, and you can um, print the pattern off Everyday Magic, and it's the hearts pattern. But uh, I'm going to get the background um, cut up, and I'll probably do up a few of these ahead of time so I can get them up on my design wall. So you can see what they look like. This is going to be fabulous and you don't want to miss it, okay? So I'm going to get cutting. Do you believe in love at first sight? Because I am really in love with these colors. So uh, check it out. Um, I have done a heart in all of the 17 colors except for the last one is going to be the orange marble here. And then I've got two oddball hearts that I'm going to, to do. And then I will start these colors all over again. But I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty simple, but I wanted you to see the concept of what it's going to look like. These are all just pasted up on here. They're not sewed together yet, but I really want to see the effect. And I wanted all of you to see this effect as well. So I'm pretty excited. I love the colors. And I think this is going to look absolutely amazing. And all I could think of was hearts and flowers. Um, I think that's going to be the quilting design for this is the flower, you know, like flowers. I don't know. Every girl loves hearts and flowers, you know. So um, anyway, um, I'm going to show you how to do this block. And then I'm going to finish on the rest of my blocks. And then the next step in this video will be I will take you all to errands with me. Um, to pick out a back for this because I haven't even picked out a backing yet and I'm gonna get it all bordered up and see what I come up with and Like I said, I'll take you all on that journey when that when uh, I get it finished up So let's move you down to my table. I whoops wrong way Marnay. Let's go down this way and just over here a little bit and You can see here. I've got my my two pieces here these are five and a half wide by ten and a half inches long threads, and you have two of them. Two of them makes one heart. So, my background squares, I have my two and a half. There's four here because you need four of these two and a half squares for the tops of your heart. And then I need two of these um, five and a half inch squares, and these will be the bottom of my heart. So... I like to cheat in this a little bit, so I'm going to um, I'm going to fold my two and a halfs over, and I'm going to fold them toward the wrong side. If you want, you can draw a line from corner to corner on the back side of these, and I would suggest probably if you're going to use black background, you'd want to use some kind of a white um, drawing pencil. But I'm going to do this my way. You do your do you your way, and I'll do me my, my way. <laughs> So when I press this, I make a nice little crease line. And if you can see my little crease line in there, um, that's what I do. And then I can just um, use that crease line to um, as my guide to um, stitch on. So I'm just going to get, I kind of finger pressed it at first, and then I press it with my iron, just so it gives me a nice little press line. And I'm just going to kind of leave these folded up. Just like that, and you'll kind of you'll get the concept of this. Press that again, and um, so you got two little um, squares that are in half on the top of each one, and really these are just mirrored same. You're gonna put the little squares on the top of the other one, and then we're gonna put the bigger squares on the bottom corners. So let's press that, so I can make me a little crease line. Yeah, since this is black and it's just faster for me to press it and um, make a crease line. But like I said, um, do it the, whatever, whatever makes you more comfortable. This is me. And I really want to make sure that I've got these a nice little press on these and, and that they're even. So I, you don't want your triangles to be crooked or it could cause a problem. So I try to get them as, as straight and even as I can. So what, now what I've got these little triangles, I just open them up and then I'm going to sew on my little press line here. And um, on all four of these, I'm going to um, sew on my crease line and then I'm going to cut the back part off and then you're going to flip this part forward 
and um, you'll have your tops. And I believe I've showed you all, when I cut the backs off, I sew these. I sew them down the one side, not across the bottom. I sew them down the one side. So then when I open them up, I have these little things. These are my leaders and enders, and I've been using all the little cutoffs on these to make these. So then when I sew these together into one whole piece, and then I press them open, I get these. <laughs> and I haven't squared these up yet, so um, I'll probably use them for another project, so. Anyway, I'm gonna do all my sewing off camera because I think it's boring, you know how to sew it. So I showed you that you're gonna sew them on the little press line, and then we, I'll show you the big squares, okay? All right, I've got my, my uh, yeah. I've got these all sewed on, on the top, on both of them. So my next step is to cut these off. And what I do is I cut mine off over at the cutter here. So I'm just gonna kind of take you over here and let you see kind of what I'm doing. Um, you could just take your straight edge here and you could just kind of, you know, put it on a quarter inch. And um, I like to make sure I get a nice straight cut. Sometimes I'll just take my scissors and cut them off, but it's just nice and straight if I could um, cut these off into little my little triangles. But my way I usually do it, move that over there, is I like to line this up and I usually put it on a quarter inch dot that way I can put my blade into my into a half inch spot here and then I can just kind of slice it off and I do one heart at a time I like I like doing one at a time because I like to see how each one comes out individually and you can chain piece these through it's a, it just depends on how you want to do it but um I'm just going to get these triangles cut off and I cut them off at a quarter of an inch and then I save these little triangles for my leaders and enders. And I know some people think it's tedious, but um, I like it. And I love this fabric and I wanna save every little piece of it. It's beautiful. So there we are. And then I'm just gonna press these up so that they're nice and up. And then I will show you. So let's move you back over here. And hopefully you can kind of, without me getting too, yeah, you're not gonna see me. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to press these up. So that they lay nice and flat. And it sounds like my hubby's home because I just heard his truck pull in the driveway. So maybe, maybe he'll pop in. <laughs> okay, so. There's that, and I'm just gonna set these little triangles over by my sewing machine because I will like, feed them through. So now, I have these five and a half inch squares, and I'm going to, well, I've already got a crease line started there, so I'm just gonna press this. And I'm going to press it to make a crease line. And this one I'm going to press and make a crease line, but I'm not going to sew these on yet because I'm just getting these ready because we're gonna sew these two um, halves together before I put these big squares on. So really I wanna point out these two inside um, triangles here. When I put these pretty to pretty, I want them two points of that triangle to line up. So I really wanna make sure I get that together nicely. And then when I open this up, I wanna make sure that they perfectly match because I don't want my, the, center of my heart which I'm going to show you here um, the can you see my hand let me see this little part here of your heart these little points that come together this one is a little bit off but most of them this one here this red one is spot on so I mean if they're slightly off it doesn't it doesn't make a huge deal but I try to get them as close as I can get that one's perfect that one's just a tiny bit off maybe like a 16th it's not something that's real noticeable, so. But I do want to try to get them as close as I can, and I'm going to use my little clips here to clip this um, half together, and then I'm going to get it on my sewing machine. I want to make sure that that's lined up. I don't believe anything is absolutely perfect, but close enough is good enough. Yep, and here he comes. 
There he is. <laughs> uh -oh. Maybe we'll let him come in and say hello. What are you doing? I'm showing him how to put the hearts together. <laughs> My hubby. I know everybody loves him. I love him. This so, is coming along. Come this is nice. turning out beautiful. Don't you love the colors? I do. I'm actually. hoping all of you out there love these colors. I think when this whole thing is done, it's just going to look absolutely amazing. So what are you doing? So, Showing them how to build the heart? Yep. So this, I've clipped it all together and I'm going to sew it right down in the middle. And then when I open this up, then we will put the big um, triangles on the bottom. What's this? The camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> Stop. Right? Stop. It does, right? Oh, no. I, I mean, mean, I hear that. Is it true? I don't, it, maybe. I don't know. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm a little hefty myself, but hmm. you know, I don't know. We're happily married, so we're fat and happy. I am fat and happy. <laughs> All right, darling. I got to grab right. some torches. I love okay. You. I love you. Bye bye. All right. You made your appearance, Jim. Um, it'll probably be a couple hours. Okay. All right. All right. I love you. Honey. I'll see you later. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this on. Um, heck, you might as well join me. So let me just move you over to the sewing machine. And let's see. Get it all the way. All right, so we're just gonna sew this half down. And I've already got my little ender on my machine because it helps with the thread, so. I'm just gonna sew this right down the side. Careful my clips, I just wanna make sure everything stays together and in place. Cause you all know how things move when you sew. <laughs> on I always do like the dark side up and then sew them the same way you know feed them through the same way because then when you open them up and you flip them they'll be opposite and they'll just come together so I don't know if everybody does this but just in case you do and set that aside Okay, and I have it sewed, so let's move back over. I have to play cameraman. So, figure this thing out. And hopefully you can see, okay. So I've got my, my piece here and I'm gonna open it up and my points here line up perfectly. And I try to get them to line up perfectly. Sometimes they don't always, they might be like a 16th off, but that's not a huge deal, so. And quilting is very forgiving as well when you quilt something. So I don't sweat the, the small details because somebody's not going to look and say, oh, your points are off. <laughs> so now the next step is these two triangles. And you can see here that you're going to sew one on first and then you're going to cut the back part off because the second one that you put on is going to slightly overlap at the bottom. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sew this one on, on my diagonal crease line. I'm going to cut the back part off and save those because, and, or you could, re, you know, you could sew it twice and you could sew these together. These make great half square triangles. I have, I'm not doing the extra sewing on this block. I'll sew these together later for another project, but you want to save those. That's a bonus project. And you can see here, I've got a whole pile of these. So that's another bonus project to think about. So I'm going to go ahead and sew these on and then um, I'll get back to you. All right, I've got it sewed together. This is your finished heart. Let me put it up here to my chest and you can kind of see. I love this marble color, don't you? I mean, it just thinks it's amazing. So um, I'm going to put this over on my design wall here. So let me just move you over. And I've kind of kept my colors together. I don't know if you've noticed. I started off with um, the peach tula, and then I went to an orange, and then I went to the blue. And you can't really see that, so let's get up here to the top. So you can see I started off with this um, peach color, and then I went to a marble, and then this one was the blue, which is also going to be the binding. So I kind of threw that in there, and then I got the lime with a lime 
marble and then I did the turquoise Tula and then I come down here with the the marble tur tur that turquoise heart whatever you want to call it and then I have the pink and then the pink uh, marble heart and then I have the gray Tula and then the gray marble and then the red um, grunge with the red marble and then I did the purple Tula with the purple marble and then I've got this orange dot and now I've got the orange heart and my heart should go this way. So my next two hearts were the oddballs because um, in the pattern it wants you to make an extra heart of um, three of the same color. Well, I didn't want to do three. I wanted to do two of these. And then I thought about doing um, two oddball hearts, which I have laid out here. Let me see. I think these two are the ones I picked. Yeah. So I picked um, a bluish marble with a green and, and then a green marble. So this is going to be an oddball. They're going to do a half and half. And then I picked two, two Tula colors, and I did the gray and the light purple and a half and half heart. So these are going to be my next two hearts, and then I'm going to start all over again with this color, and I'm just going to keep going all the way down. I think that's how I'm going to do mine. Um, you can mix them up however you want. I'm just, you know, we're all fussy about how we want to place our hearts. So I'm going to get on with these. I'm going to um, try to get my quilt top finished up so um hopefully the next video to this or your part two will be when I go to Aaron's and pick out a back and I believe your homework your homework is if you want to do this quilt with me is to get a hold of Aaron at sheetsocreative.com she can put you together a kit that's exactly like mine with all my colors if you love my colors you know um she will help you out with that or if you want to check out Aaron's shop and pick out your own colors, and you can do that too. You can get the free pattern. Um, I said it was on the PNB, pbtex.com for the pattern. It's a free pattern. And, of course, um, I think hearts is a, a, a great gift. As you all know, Christmas is, you know, not too far away. This would make an awesome Christmas gift for somebody that you love you know love and hey you know what comes after christmas valentine's you know so i don't know it's a very versatile gift or a gift to yourself you know i mean ask somebody are you quilt worthy you know <laughs> so anyway your homework is is to check out um sheetsocreative.com get your kit if you love it make it with me and we will get on to um getting this finished up and um, we'll get it back, and then the next, the third part of this quilt will be um, on the quilter. I'm going to take you through the whole thing of, of making it. So I think this is a really cool, a really cool quilt. It would be beautiful, beautiful for somebody or beautiful for yourself. So I'm going to get on and finish this up, and I will chat at you later. So thank you all for stopping in. Please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And all of you beautiful people out there that have subscribed, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay? I'll chat at you later. Bye. Woohoo! Hey, everybody. I just wanted to put a quick footnote in here at the end of this video that if you want this kit, exactly the way I made it and that I showed you with all of my colors. Erin has it in her uh, website at sheetsocreative.com. You can order the kit. It's called Everyday Magic and she is going to give you a coupon code for a discount. So if you watch this video and you uh, order the kit, order the kit and type in Fee Magic, that's F-E-E-M-A-G-I-C and you will get the 20% uh discount 20 percent off the uh quilt top yeah the quilt top so i thought that was kind of cool that is really cool I, yeah absolutely uh, i like to help sheets so oh, creative oh, oh, out wait wait also um just so you know if you order over 125 dollars worth of merchandise from them shipping is free so mm -hmm. with the discount the the kit comes to 103.99 so if you can find another what is that? Twenty two dollars worth of stuff. So then you can find free. something in there. And her her oh my store God, is so much chock stuff. loaded and full of all kinds of goodies. And Erin is a, is a local quilt shop here in Wellsboro, PA, and I like to help her with her business and keep my shopping local. Because if she stays in business, 
I stay in business. <laughs> I, I don't know if you stay in business, honey. I think if she stays in business, she supports your addiction. Yeah, that's, maybe that's, that's what, what it is. It is. But yeah, I love her shop. She's got she's, everything you can want She's the fabric more. dealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's my fabric dealer. Also, sure. we are not affiliate, or we, we don't get any money at all from Sheets So Creative no. for anything that you buy there. So don't think that we're getting a kickback or anything. No. Nope. Erin um, is just a good friend, and I, I love her business, and I really want her to succeed. So I think this is a, a way of helping boost them up, you know, because we love the, them as yep. a couple and I love her shop. And also, seeing as how Erin's going to give you guys a 20% discount, if you want to have your heart quilt quilted here at Country Farmhouse Quilting, cool. we will match her 20% discount on long arm quilting for this quilt. Okay? So uh, if and you're that interested is in that. free return shipping yep. back to you. Yep, we pay the return shipping to you. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, yeah, 20% off Marnay's kit. Well, it's kind of your kit. You picked the colors. I picked the colors. I handpicked every one of them. So if you love it, get the kit. You won't regret it. I think you're going to love it. So 20% off from Sheet So Creative, 20% off of your long arm services here at the farmhouse. 20 plus 20 is 40. Hold on, let me check the math. 20 plus 20, carry the 7, divide by 2, carry the 9. Yep, 20 plus 20 is 40. I verified it. All right. It and I didn't even great. need her toes. <laughs> All right. All right, boys and girls. It's I been hope to fun. I from you soon. I got to go to bed now. <laughs> yeah, it's past your beddy time, isn't it? It is past my beddy time. Mm -hmm. He's an early birdie. I am. Early to rise. Well, she's been beating me up, which is nice because she has the coffee on before yes. I get up. Good Usually coffee. have to wait for the coffee. <laughs> we take turns. All right, boys and girls. All right. Thank you so later. much. Bye.